So what's up YouTube? So today I want to be talking about this company, Diamond Comic Distributor Purchasing Comic Grading Authority. Now you might not know who uh, a Collectible Grading Authority is. However, they own VGA, which is a competitor of WADA Games, uh, as well as Action Figure Authority. Um, you might not hear about VGA as much as WADA. However, they have kept their name clean uh, versus WADA, who've been um, accused of raising their prices, doing a little bit of shady things in the background. Um, instead, VGA has kind of remained clean. However, they've been purchased by this company and I'm going to be talking about the ramification that it might have on new markets. Now, just to go into a little bit of who Diamond Comic Distributor is, they're one of the biggest distributors of comics. They work with Dark Horse Comics, Image Comics, and Marvel Comics. Now, I'm not a collector of comics. Um, however, they seem to be a very big player within this market. Um, they're kind of more of the behind the scenes player in terms of distribution. They also distribute action figures. And um, I want to kind of talk a, more, a little bit about this company. Not so much about comics, not so much about video games, not so much about action figures, but about VHS tapes. Now, um, this is their official website and it's talking about how from October this year they're gonna start taking in factory sealed VHS tapes and they're gonna start grading VHS tapes now I know we have a small grading company IGS I believe however they're very small they're very new to the market however I believe that a company like VGA which is much more established within the market grading VHS is quite interesting and so I want to guys I want to show you guys a little bit of what I've been doing in terms of collecting uh, VHS tapes and so I want to show you guys what I have in my collection now I think um, if we can learn anything from the comics book uh, industry and comics book collecting is to focus in on key issues okay guys that means going after first appearances debuts things like that because right now I'm focusing on the Pokemon and anime market because I live in Japan but I see a lot of collectors out there going after like episode 26 of Pokemon and I see on eBay they're purchasing it for like 26 uh, to a couple hundred dollars and I think that's a little bit of an overpay so I'm going to show you an example of what I've been purchasing in the market I, it's not necessarily a lot but I just want to show you what I mean by focusing on key issues now the first uh, sealed uh, VHS that I have here is the first Pokemon movie. Now the Japanese uh, Pokemon movie is going to be more valued than the as a collector's item than the English version. The reason why is because um, this version has unedited version uh, unedited um, scenes which in the English version it doesn't show. Not only that but there's certain portions of this original movie that they took out for the English scene to make it more child friendly. And so I believe this is the going to be recognized within the market as the first original Pokemon movie. Now moving forward is this other one. It's called Anime Cho Hyak Kyo Pokemon Sugoi Waza Goju. I, I'm not really sure what this is. However, um, I thought this was really interesting because this is a Hijohin, which means it was a product that was not for sale. So that means there's going to be limited supply of this available in the market. And so I think that if we um, VHS tapes do become bigger in the future, or a lot of collectors are going to be wanting um, uh, VHS with lower pops. And so hijohin, like I said, means um, not for sale products. They use them in promotions and things like that are going to be more sought, highly sought after. So this is another one that I have. This isn't necessarily a key issue. However, I like this one for the reason that it has lower pop. Now, the next one that I have here is the first um, the first episode of Pokemon. I believe this uh, it's an obvious reason. I have both the debut of the movie as well as the debut of the, uh, the TV series. And I think that focusing in on um, key series like this is very important. Not only that, but there's other ones out there. Um, the first uh, appearance of Charizard, first appearance of Blastoise. Um, there's other definitely key issues in here, but however, I'm going after the debuts of these VHSs. Now I'm going to be showing you guys a couple more VHSs that I have in my collection that I do think is quite interesting. Maybe you don't know about it so much, so I'm going to share it with you guys. 
So this one here is Shonen Jump Festa, which is a very big event in Japan. Um, it's it's kind of celebrating Shonen Jump, and it's a big festival that they have. Um, it's an expo, but um, like I said, this one's a product that's a hijo hing, not for sale. So it's going to be very limited supply in terms of what's still out there that's unsealed, that's sealed. So I think that going after these kind of um, hijo hing, unsold, uh, not for sale VHS is still very good uh, opportunity. If you go on Mercari right now, you can still purchase them for less than ten dollars. And um, as an avid collector and fan of One Piece. I have one of these pieces. Not only that, but I only also have some Hijohin ones of Gao Ranger, which is the original Power Rangers. And I see the Power Rangers in the US eBay going for about $300 USD. So I thought this was a good purchase because this was the original Power Rangers. And then not only that, but I also have one more from the Jump Festa as well, which is a Hunter Hunter, another um, childhood favorite of mine. Once again, not for sale so i can expect to get have a low pop if this does become something bigger in the future so guys just wanted to share you guys my uh thoughts on um a new emerging market with vhs's my two uh advice is to really just focus in on key issues key episodes key movies if you're going after series like pokemon not just random episodes and then not and then focusing on in on special events that occurred in Japan if you're going after anime uh, such as Hijoking which is not for sale so I do think those are kind of gonna be like I guess serial numbered VHS's in the future um, the, the fact of the matter is this is just gonna have much more uh, less of a production run just because this was only distributed to um, people that went to this event and were able to win something called a lottery and so it was very limited in terms of um, the production that they had for this VHS. But that's just my two cents, two cents guys, on um, Diamond Comics purchasing CGS uh, competitor. And I think that it's going to be an interesting market. However, just realize that this is a new and emerging market that isn't established at all. So um, definitely make sure you're careful on how much leverage and risk that you place in this investment. Take care, guys.